Hello and welcome to another Gas App and Plum App UK Live Lounge. I'm Paul from Myra Showers and tonight I'm going to be taking you through our latest built-in mixer range, the Myra Evoco range of mixer showers. Really appreciate you giving the time your evening to, uh, to join us tonight, so hopefully it'll be as informative um, as it needs to be. And also, as you know, with all of our live lounges, you get the opportunity to ask some questions as well. Had loads of questions come through, so I really appreciate your support, um, your interest as well. But if you do have any other questions as we're going through the live lounge tonight, by all means, fire those through, and I'll do my very best to answer them as well. Like all live lounges as well, there's also an opportunity for you guys to win some prizes. We have three of these um, Myra Evoco showers to give away. Um, as you know, all you need to do was go in before the live lounge and just pop a question in there um, and be in with a chance uh, of winning one. These are brand new, literally, they're not even on sale yet. Probably towards the end of this week, you might see them start to be popping up on some of the, uh, the e-sites, um, but they are hot off the press. Um, quite literally, um, the first piece of uh, advertising um, that we've, we've done on this particular range as well. So it's um, most definitely exclusive just for uh, you guys at Gas App and Plum App as well. As well as the three Myra Revolco showers that we've got to give away, which are worth up to £500 each, we've also got 10 Installer Pro hoodies and t-shirt packs as well for the runners-up. So get yourself involved, fire a question through if you haven't already, um, and we'll uh, pick some winners towards the end. So... What I'm going to talk about first and foremost is the valve to this. So some of you who might have watched our most recent live lounge um, with Gas App and Plum App would have um, seen me go through the Opero range, which is, if you like, um, an exposed version to this particular show that we're going to go through tonight. But this particular one that we're going to look at now, the Myra Evolco, is the built-in equivalent. So why have we got two showers which look very similar? The fact is that for that more premium um, bathroom installation, not least because of the aesthetics, because there's no rails on show, or, or etc. but also because of the extra functionality that you'll see with Myra Evoco, with the bath fill mode that I'll show you a little bit later as well. Why for those premium jobs, um, then the customer's gonna want something just a little bit more special. So the magic behind all of it um, for Myra Evoco is this new built-in valve. So this is completely brand new, designed and developed here at our head office in Cheltenham. Um, and again, it's kind of, Purpose, purposely designed specifically to give you the quality that you know and love with Myra and also the reassurance when you fit it for your customer as well. So what's so special about it? So I'm just gonna show you uh, on the close up here um, what's different to this one um, that, that you might have, have seen if you're kind of familiar with built-in valves. Um, and the main thing with this one is the built-in flexibility and also the reassurance that we've built in when it comes to the water connections as well. So you can see here with my Revolco that all of the water connections are push fit. They use John Guest collets as part of the, uh, the push fit mechanism and they come supplied first of all with these little caps, just dust caps for uh, whilst they're in transit. And you can see the one that I've got here is a triple outlet version. We've got the hot and the cold feed at the bottom there. But you can also see here, to the left and right, we've got an outlet. And also for this one, which is the triple outlet, right at the top here, we've got that third outlet as well. So I'll take you through the range in a minute, just in terms of kind of the different variants which are available. But I'll show you kind of the, the valve and the valve technology itself. So those of you that, that are kind of frequently fitting built-in showers, built-in mixers, um, and kind of familiar with some of the, the, uh, the installation methodologies, one of the biggest fears, as I'm sure you'll all be only too familiar with, is putting the thing in the wall and having it leak. There are a lot of built-in mixes out there whereby there's female iron um, connections, you're having to put a threaded male into there, come off of it with a compression um, coupling, and then hope for the best when it comes to kind of it remaining watertight once you've finished off all of the wall covering. These, like I say, are all push fit, so a lot quicker to install. And also you've got that peace of mind that once it's in the wall, this product's got a five year guarantee and all of the, uh, the connections, as you'd expect, are also covered with that as well. Nice and simple installation for all of the fittings. Just push it in. There's a minimum insertion depth of 35 mil. And once it's in there, any connections, whether it be the outlets here or the hot and the cold in inlet connections there, once that 15 mil copper has been inserted, you've got these little locking clips that just lock into place for extra peace of mind just to ensure that inadvertently there's no possibility that that pipework's gonna be, uh, be removed as well. 
if you're just popping it in as part of a first fix or you, you're kind of having to do it, you can remove those collets and remove the pipe work if you've messed up a bend or something like that, for instance, um, and then kind of make that connection again if you need to as well. So we've had some fantastic questions when it comes to the actual valve itself um, and hopefully kind of be able to answer those as, as part of uh, the, this presentation as I progress through it. But equally, I'll get to those more specifically towards the end if I've not addressed those. But one of the big things with, with this new design is that flexibility. Quicker to install, peace of mind of that push fit fit in as well. There's no compression or threaded joints which kind of could potentially leak in the wall afterwards. But also, we've really tried to make it flexible for all kinds of installation methods that you might need to kind of employ as part of the installation as well. So you can see here as we, we, uh, we look at the valve itself, you've got all of these back fixings here. So whether you're fitting this onto, um, into a stud work or into kind of a masonry wall, you can screw right through the back there and put it onto a timber or a masonry back plate. But similarly, also included with this, are these noggin joint clips as well. So if you want to fit this vertically or horizontally onto uh, a timber studded noggin, then you get two of these clips and they simply push into place. If you push them all the way home, they'll clip and lock. And then you just simply screw down into the, uh, the, the noggin pieces themselves to secure it to the, uh, to the joist. You can put them kind of bottoms, hang it from the top as well if you wish to, or what you'll probably see on some of the, uh, the installation videos that we've completed to date, I've actually used it at alternating corners just to give that rigidity at the top and the bottom um, as I've installed it into the, the timber noggins as well. So really, really flexible when it comes to the installation of the valve itself um, and also really, really quick to install because of that speed fit and also because of the options that you've got to fix it to the wall itself. So in terms of the valve, you get a nice little decorator's cap there just to keep any of the mess out of it while you're roughing in or do any kind of tiling or adhesive work. And then you can see um, within the valve itself as well, if we just look at the close-up again here, it comes as well with a built-in flushing plate. So there's no kind of uh, risk there of getting any of the cartridge or any of the fascia plate or anything like that messy when you're going through that first fix. You can use that flushing plate and then once you've actually completed that, just flushing the hot and cold flushes all three outlets as you can see on this flushing plate itself. Pair of grips then, undo the five screws which are securing it into place and then pull that flushing plate out when you've in undone all of the screws properly that is. And then that just pops out like so. And then that's replaced by the actual cartridge itself a little bit later which I'll show you as well. So that's the valve itself. What I'm gonna do is just show you on the overhead here in terms of, of the range um, and why we've got different outlets. So one of the, uh, the questions a little bit earlier on was just in terms of, is there a single outlet version available of this particular one? So the Moira Evoco comes in dual and triple outlets. There is no single outlet version of this particular model with that push fit valve methodology. They are only dual and triple outlets. And the reason why, um, I'll explain to you now just in terms of these controls, but the really nice thing about this as well, as you can see, is there are the three selection of finishes as well. We've got the chrome, we've got matte black, and we've also got brushed nickel as well to choose from. And those finishes are available across the range, whether you go for the dual outlet or whether you go for the triple outlet as well. Um, but there are also different options as you work your way through the actual range as well. So I'm just gonna show you up on the, uh, the, the close up now. Um, just in terms of the actual outlets and the styles. Oh, you can see the camera there. So you've got the dual outlet shower. So you can see here, as indicated by the, um, the actual push button operation itself to control the flow. We've got the variable hand shower and we've got the deluge there um, for the dual outlet. If you need to, or, or kind of, you may have accidentally <laughs> plumbed the product in um, back to front when it comes to the outlets and the deluge operating the, uh, the, the hand shower and vice versa comes with this little tool, you can turn the, uh, the, the face plate over and you can just pop out the button with that little tool that comes with the, uh, the face plate and uh, reattach them afterwards if you, uh, you need to, just to uh, ensure that you've got the right outlets the right way around. So that's the, uh, the dual shower version. I'll also show you now what other jewels that we've got as part of the range as well. And like I say, these are available in all colors. 
the matte black, the brushed nickel and the chrome. You can see here with this one when it comes to the push button controls, rather than having a dual shower, we've got a bath shower mixer. So you can use this built-in valve to control more than one outlet when it comes to having that kind of complete bathroom control. So this particular one here is a single shower where you've got the variable handset and you've also got the bath filler capability with this one as well. And again, the beauty of this particular product, when you've, uh, you've decided which specification that you want, whether it be the dual outlet shower, whether it be the single outlet shower and bath fill, or what I'm gonna show you shortly, whether it be the dual outlet shower and bath fill, um, you can specify that across those colors. Um, and I'll also show you the, uh, the color coordinated bath fill as well shortly, just so as you can see that. But again, this is a dual outlet um, valve that you get with it, but it's for a single shower and for a bath fill there. And again, the same as I've just showed you uh, a little while ago, you can pop the buttons out of the back with that little tool and swap those buttons around if you need to. And then for the highest spec um, as part of this, we've then got the triple outlet. It's a triple outlet valve, but you've got the deluge, the variable handset, and also the bath fill as well. So you can operate more than one outlet at the same time. You can, providing you've got the, uh, the, the, the flow rate of course, you could even fill the bath at the same time as having the shower on this one. The valve capacity and the flow rate is large enough to allow all those, operate, those to operate at the same time as well. So you've got the dual shower, the single shower and bath fill, and then a dual shower and a bath fill option as well. So really kind of premium in terms of the, uh, the finish that you're gonna be able to give to your customer but also the flexibility that a valve like this gives you just in terms of servicing, not just the shower, but also the bath fill as well. Now, the really nice thing with uh, my Revoco as well, just from a customer's perspective, is that this also includes our patented Hydroglow technology. So you might have seen just when I was showing you how you can uh, swap the, uh, the push button activation around, that we've got this little PCB down here. So that PCB connects to our Hydroglow technology, which is incorporated into the thermostatic cartridge, which I'll show you shortly, but without any power supply, um, and also without any batteries as well, the heat of the water through the, uh, the, the um, opposite temperatures um, and the temperature differential between the hot and cold will create a small electrical current to power that PCB, and then all the way around the temperature control knob here, we've got a backlit LED, which flashes when the shower's reaching up to temperature, and when it reaches the temperature that you've set and it's purged all that hot water through on the hot supply, it will turn solid then because the shower will have reached the temperature that it's been set at as well. So real nice piece of functionality for your customer as well, and really kind of just that extra little bit of bling for um, the, the premium product that it is as well. So those are the actual face plates. I'm just gonna show you now on the, uh, on the front cam that the, uh, the, the bath, the bath fill versions, whether that be the single shower and bath fill, or whether that be the uh, the trip, the double shower and bath fill, um, comes with a colour coordinated um, bath filler mechanism as well. So, absolutely chosen the black one here because you can barely see it against my t-shirt. Um, but as you can see, it is all colour coordinated, and I'll just show you on the close up here. Even the actual bath filler itself is colour coordinated as well. You've got the push fit activated pop-up waste, and even the plug hole there for that is also color coordinated. So whether you choose the chrome, the brush nickel, or the matte black, it's all one complete system. And again, it's not buying components and, and kind of building that shower. You specify the, uh, the, the type that you want, and that all comes in one box as well. So no complication when it comes to that as well. So as you can see here, this is the actual bath filler and combined overflow. So much the same as the, um, the valve itself that I've just shown you. You've got the push fit connection here for your 15 mil feed from the actual mixing valve itself to fill your bath fill. And then just on the underside here, you can see that you've got the overflow slot at the back, which functions as a normal overflow through your waste pipe here. But you've also got the front slot here, which is your bath fill mechanism. So. Safety included as part of this, the bath fill, um, the, the waste will always um, take away more than the, uh, the bath fill can fill the, uh, the bath in terms of kind of like if it's inadvertently left running for instance. So that the waste will always take away more than it can be filled by because there's a built-in flow regulator there to ensure that it never exceeds what the waste can actually take away at the same time as well. So again, this comes all pre-assembled, 
you've got your corrugated waste pipe which comes from your bath filler and then back down to your pop-up waste assembly as well. So again, colour coordinated and it all comes in one box um, as part of the product that you've specified. One of the really nice things, and I've installed a couple of these now for um, some of our videos. One of the really nice things with this one, I'll just show you on the close-up again. Um, having fitted kind of a lot of these kind of pre-Myra pre days, um, frustrating when it comes to kind of tightening up that waste. These come with their own installation tool as well. So you know that you can get good purchase on that waste, tighten it up to get the right seal before you then put your pop-up waste on there and thread that down onto the waste assembly itself. So again, all of the tools just in terms of helping you install that as part of it as well are included. Um, and again, really nice assembly when it comes to the actual bath filler itself. This is um, a quarter turn bayonet fitting, so it locks into place, you can hear it lock once it's in. But then that comes out, you can see just in here the little flow regulator there, so it just ensures that the shower never fills faster than it can empty. And then you've got your three Phillips screws there to, uh, to put the, uh, the front of that waste assembly on as well. Once that's all in on the bath, that just locks into place as well. So really well thought out. Um, and again, because it comes with the, uh, the little installation tools, it just makes your life a little bit easier and also makes it a lot easier to install as well. So in terms of, of the fittings, so all of, uh, all of Myra Opera, the, all of the Myra Opera range, Myra Evoco range, sorry, comes with our 200 millimeter um, overhead deluge, part of our crisp range of, uh, of fittings, and also the color coordinated crisp handset as well, which rather than being turned conically, like a, a traditional handset, changes with the push of a button as well. So really nice premium fittings to complement what is a really nice premium product as well. So when it comes to the actual HydroGlow technology that I mentioned a little bit earlier on, all of that is included as part of the actual cartridge itself. So again, I'm just gonna show you on the, uh, on the close up here, which is the actual cartridge assembly. So once you've removed the, uh, the flushing cartridge, you then need to install the cartridge assembly into the product itself. So the cartridge assembly is all combined into that and the cartridge assembly is specifically assembled depending on whether you've got the dual or the triple outlet. This is just a, a dust cover that comes as part of that. That just clips off just to ensure that all of your inlets and your outlets are free from debris. You've got your brass inlets there for your, your hot and your cold supply and then your outlets for the actual showers or your bath fills just on the sides there. And you can also see here, just at the bottom there, this little cable, which is the connection from the HydroGlow technology, which is included as part of the cartridge, which contacts then on the front of the, uh, the user controller to illuminate that as well. So again, five year guarantee with this product. So all of the functionality, which, which is included as part of it, including that HydroGlow, is covered within your five years guarantee. Um, and if this needs to be replaced for any reason, it's just one complete unit, five screws, remove it from the actual um, valve assembly, new valve, grease up the seals, and in you go there just to, uh, to renew that. Brand spanking new thermostatic cartridge included as part of that. And if for any reason that HydroGlow functionality breaks down for any reason, it's covered within that five year guarantee, or even after that, it remains serviceable, nice and easy um, for you to do that yourself as well if the, uh, the requirement should need. There's a few other nice little touches with this as well that, that I like particularly, even when it comes to the fittings itself. So again, everything color coded just in terms of the shower arm, even the, uh, the hose as well for the black one. I particularly like the matte black one myself just in terms of uh, the contemporary finish. One of the things which I should point out as well with the finishes as well, so particularly black as it's becoming more and more popular nowadays. Um, you hear people kind of having issues with some of the finishes, the finishes tarnishing, finishes getting easily scratched, etc. So as part of that five year guarantee as well, the finishes are also covered and we're so sure on the finishes that we go above and beyond when it comes to the salt spray testing. So that's a, a testing that we have to undertake as part of the approvals process um, to guarantee the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the materials last um, for, for the period in which we state. Um, and we go over and above that to ensure that you know, you're not going to experience any of those um, defects that are commonly being associated now, particularly to the, uh, the black finishes which are out on the market as well. So on the subject finishes as well, 
going to have a look at just now, just in terms of that rear assembly um, that the uh, the overhead Dell uses attached by as well. So again, in the efforts of kind of not least giving you the uh, the build quality that you normally expect, but also that ease of installation as well. I'll just show you here on the close up when it comes to the the, uh, the top overhead Dell use assembly. So nice brass assembly here. Your 15 mil, as you'd put it out as part of your first fix, would all be included. You'd finish that final wall surface, and then the brass back plate goes on. The little collet, which when it's tightened up with the back nut there, squeezes the pipe to ensure that there's no movement with that. And then once that's sticking through there with the collet, the actual final connection here, um, which secures the overhead deluge bar, is just hand tightened. So again, you can just see here, whereby there's no need to disassemble the, uh, the assembly or anything. That overhead deluge just secures into place and then you hand tighten that to create a watertight fitting, but also one which secures that to the wall um, as well, as well as the actual overhead deluge as well. So again, nice pieces of build quality included as part of that with the brass, um, just to ensure that you're getting the, uh, the quality that you'd expect from Myra as well. So in terms of the, uh, the, the, the valve itself and kind of the fittings that, that come with that now, that's probably um, as much as it is that, that kind of comes with that. Um, one of the things which we, we kind of, we are really working tirelessly um, towards as well is just kind of how we maintain some elements of sustainability when it comes to luxury products like this. No guessing that kind of some of these large overhead deluges, the 200 millimeter particularly, um, they, they'll give kind of a, a substantial amount of water if you let them. So as part of that as well, included within the installation pack, we do include these nine litre flow reg, outlet flow regulators as well. So if there is a kind of uh, a requirement to, to, to kind of either restrict the water consumption um, or the water flow as well, you can fit these little nine litre flow regulators um, that come with it as well as part of the outlets um, just in order to uh, to control that flow as well. So um, that's pretty much it for uh, for Myra Evoco. Do have lots of questions from you guys as well, which I'll take a look at now. And of course, um, we've also got the uh, the competition draw as well that we'll be doing as part of that as well. So we'll have a quick look at the questions now um, and just see what questions you guys might have for this and also any other questions that you might have as well. Uh, good question here, what colours does it come in? So yeah, there's the three colours, the chrome, the matte black and the brushed nickel. Um, and again, there's a five year guarantee on the, uh, the Evoco range, inclusive of those, uh, those finishes as well. Um, nice question here from Rich Haspel. He doesn't fit on many showers, but hoping to do more of this work in the future. Um, and hopefully Myra will be his go-to brand. What is the most popular bar shower that Myra sell? So um, I've answered kind of similar questions to this a lot on the app um, over kind of recent years and months. Um, and kind of one of the things which you should be aware of is actually in the internals to all of our bar valves are exactly the same. So the commonality across there just means that we can guarantee that the build quality and the cartridges and things like that all remain the same. It's really the design of both the fittings and also the knobs that, that differentiate the, the design, if you like, of our bar valve. So kind of from an installer perspective, um, kind of Myra Relate, um, Myra um, Atom, um, are, are all kind of, you know, Myra Coder, Coder Pro as well, also very popular bar valves. But again, with bar valves, you know, regardless of where you're buying them from, the commonality across that build um, is, is all the same. It's just the styling that you're going for differently. So with a bar valve, kind of have no hesitation from buying them from wherever you need to. Um, a, a good price for your customer because inside they're all the same and you're getting the same kind of build quality and more importantly that five year guarantee that comes with all of our mixer showers as well. Um, what's the best unit of this, best feature of this particular unit um, from Robert McKean? So I think for me to be honest having fitted lots of uh, built in mixer showers kind of pre my time at Myra, um, it's definitely as part of the valve it's that push fit piece. I think kind of doing that first fix, particularly with 
kind of uh, some of the, the built-in shares which you guys will be familiar with, which you've kind of got to start to put male irons on and, and kind of compression fittings. Um, knowing that you've got that push fit, that peace of mind in the, in the wall there that it's sealed would probably be the, the, the kind of redeeming feature for me, if I'm honest. Um, what type of installations are these for? So very much because it's that built-in installation, they are for new installations, they are for complete bathroom renovations. But again, kind of one of the things which I've kind of tried to explain to people that particularly with a triple outlet valve, you're not just buying a shower with this one, you are buying a complete kind of uh, water system as it was because you're getting the shower outlets and also the bath as well. It's a really nice feature, just having it all on the wall um, and all controlled by that single controller as well. Um, how does the hydroglow work um, and is it a serviceable part? So I um, think kind of mentioned that a little bit, bit earlier. It, it works through um, the dissimilar temperatures across the hot and the cold, it generates a small current which lights up that LED. Um, it is a serviceable part. If it does need replacing it at all, you change the cartridge. All of that hydroglow technology is incorporated as part of that um, and it can be replaced um, or repaired if required. Um, and again, there's a brand new cartridge that as well which you get a five year guarantee on the shower, but any of our spares, whether that be internal components or fittings as well, you get a 12 month guarantee if you need to, uh, to change them once the, uh, the guarantee period's out as well. Um, how many points do you get for these through the My Realty Scheme Installer Pro? Um, these are worth 50 points, a fiver to me and you. Um, so again, kind of every little helps, um, and you can, again, with Installer Pro, claim back those points in digital shopping vouchers, Amazon, etc., or even um, our Installer Pro merchandise as well. Um, slightly off topic, but a great question nonetheless. So a question from uh, Sean Hanlon. Um, I have a customer who wants to replace their Aqualiza shower that has controls on a metal bar which hangs from the ceiling. The control unit is in the upstairs upstairs bathroom under the bath, what's the closest replacement? Um, so some of you will remember um, a while back now um, that we released um, our Mora Activate digital valve. So the Mora Activate digital shower is a direct replacement um, for the Aqualiza Quartz, which I think you're talking about there, Sean. So um, the, the, the Mora Activate is a direct replacement. Even the screw holes for the slide rails, which drop down from the ceiling, are in exactly the same place as well. So you should be able to leave your drill in the van. Um, and again, that digital mixing valve can be fitted underneath the, uh, the bath, as long as you can get to it to, uh, to access it, clean the filters, etc. if required in the future, um, then that should be fine. And again, been deliberately designed to retrofit Aqualiza and you get a five year guarantee with that as well and very competitively priced in comparison to Aqualiza as well for that one, Sean. So hopefully um, that's, uh, that's answered a question there. Um, how is the shower powered if no batteries or plug is used from Chris Hall? So again, Hydroglow technology, um, it's that dissimilar temperature across the hot and the cold, which the, the temperature differential, which creates a current um, across the sensors that are included. So again, no needs for a power supply or batteries for this particular product as well. So um, all a little bit of witchcraft, but um, it works nonetheless. And as I say, kind of five year guarantee as part of that. Um, and again, brings a shower to life really when it comes for uh, for the customer getting a little bit more from such a premium product as well. Um, question from Pat, just in terms of the water connections. So we do advocate that you only use copper for the water connections for these. So quite kind of, even though we're using the John Guest collets, we do say to only use copper for this. Clearly, with a pipe slice, deburry, et cetera, just make sure it's clear, clear and it's not gonna damage the seals. But yeah, we wouldn't advocate for this, for any kind of use of any plastic pipe work, regardless of what inserts, et cetera, are used. Always use copper on this one. So again, great question there for that. Um, what's the minimum and maximum pressure range, Ian Price asks. So much the same as all of our mixer showers, um, we design these um, with all pressures in mind, particularly the fact that they'll work down even on low pressure gravity fed systems and they'll work down to as low as 0.1 bar. Clearly not gonna be a fantastic sharing experience as low as that, but none of our competitors showers will operate as low as that but they'll also work all the way up to a maximum of five bar working pressure um, and 10 bar static as well. Um, but equally, and when it comes to that flow rate, it is extremely generous. Um, there was another shower, uh, another um, question on, on the flow rates. Um, so much so that I had to kind of look this up, but just to kind of give you an indication of the performance from this unit, 
The flow rate at 0.5 bar, you can expect to get eight liters a minute out of the handset um, and 10 liters, 10 and a half liters, sorry, out of that deluge and that's at 0.5 bar. So again, as that starts to crank up, um, as part of that maintain pressure, you can accept a expect a very generous flow rate um, from that as well. So hope that uh, has answered that one. Um, is there a ceiling fitted for a fitting for a deluge shower head? Um, Pat asks that. Um, so with this particular one, um, there isn't a ceiling fed option, unfortunately, Pat. So these have been designed specifically with the rear fed rear feed. Um, installation kind of built in with, with that so it is specifically for a rear fed um, having said that though we do have accessories which would make that available so some of our ceiling fed um, digital mixer showers the Mara Activate again which I mentioned a little bit earlier does have um, a, a deluge bar similar to this which can actually be cut because it comes with the, the, uh, the half inch thread on both ends. So if you wanna use it as a rear fed, you just chop that piece off. If you wanna use it as a ceiling fed, you can chop the curve off as well. So there is options available to you if you wanna kinda of purchase another accessory for it um, and do a ceiling fed as well. Um, another question just with regards to kind of system suitability as well. So can it be pumped? Yeah, absolutely, Graham. Um, these can be fitted onto um, any kind of conventional shower pump um, that you require. The only thing that we do stipulate when it comes to kind of either pumping it or, or kind of um, when it comes to potentially mixed pressures um, is just ensuring that it's, it's kind of the pressures across the hot and the cold are nominally equal. We don't normally advocate with any of our mixing valves that the, uh, the hot, for instance, be pumped and the cold on a mains. Um, any thermostatic mixer to work best and to maintain a nice stable temperature, you want nominally equal pressures across both suppliers. Um, great question here from Jeff. So I mentioned a little bit earlier about um, the, the live lounge that we did with you guys um, a while back where we talked through the Mara Opero, which is the, uh, the surface mounted equivalent of this particular product. So it looks very similar to Opero. So as a built-in valve rather than exposed, what are the advantages of Evoco in comparison to Opero? So yeah, great question, Jeff. So, Again, this is really aimed at kind of that premium installation where somebody wants, you know, the extra functionality of a bath filler um, and also customers that want that real minimal installation where they've not got, with the Mara Opera, for instance, the riser rail exposed from the actual top of the valve up to the deluge because this can be kind of concealed all built into the wall. So it is to kind of achieve another next level of aesthetic, to be honest, Jeff. Um, but equally, um, if somebody wants that all in one kind of uh, controller at the, the bath or, or the shower as well, then you can have kind of the triple outlet to, to fill the bath, the, the double or the triple outlet to fill the bath as well. So yeah, great question. It's really, you know, very much horses for courses in terms of that comparison. Both great showers both you know exactly the same kind of performance um, but when you've got an exposed or a truly built-in product that gives you the much more minimal design and also um, the extra functionality of the bath fill as well um, so good question again here a couple of couple of you guys have, have kind of asked about this just in terms of um, the noggin fixings are the noggin fixings strong enough if we've just used the two lugs solely at the bottom I've never showed you kind of just just a little bit early just in terms of once they've clipped in these are incredibly strong so again all then all they need to do is just kind of secure that valve down and once the valve secured down there's no play in that once there's they've been there's four fixing points on each lug and once they're in place there is no play in that valve at all, just in terms of that movement in the wall. And equally, once you've got your hot and your cold feed into it um, with your, uh, your outlets as well, it just further reduces any movement that you're gonna get in that valve as well. So they are, you know, again, kind of, I've fitted all these as part of, of our, our videos. Extremely surprising, just in terms of the rigidity that that offers as well. So um, yeah, absolutely uh, great question. So, um, I think that's kind of most of the questions covered off now in terms of what you you may have asked or kind of what I've covered as part of that. Um, so kind of uh, all that um, 
it, it leaves time for really now is just to, to announce the winners. So um, again, as you know, to, uh, to get put into that prize draw, um, you need to submit the question um, as part of tonight as well. And we pick some winners um, as part of that. And we have three Myra vocals to give away worth up to 500 pounds each, and also 10 Myra hoodie and t-shirt combos as well. So without further ado, um, the three winners of um, the actual Evoco showers, and you can choose any one across the range, regardless of what colour, um, what finish that you want, or whether you want the dual outlet or the triple outlet. We've got three winners, um, Adam Beck, Andrew Crooks, and Des Goodwin. Congratulations, you've all won um, a Myra Evoco. Um, and then we've also got 10 runners up who win a Myra hoodie and t-shirt combos, who are James Gavin, Martin Smale, Connor Kelly, Ian Price, Robert McKean, Stuart Wellington, Rich Haspel, Kirk Pattenden, Liam Kavanagh, and Sam LC. So really, really appreciate you guys taking the time, and anybody who's submitted a question live as well tonight, really, really appreciate you guys taking the time to put the questions in. Makes my job a lot easier in terms of answering the questions that you've asked as well. Um, and also, I'd just like to kind of finish just to say that actually, this is gonna be my last live lounge for, for Myra. As, as many of you know, I'm kind of moving on to Pastures New. Just wanna take the opportunity really kind of face to face or virtually as it were, just to say thank you for all of the support. I've massively enjoyed working with you guys at Gas App and Plum App and also working with you guys as installers. Anybody that kind of myself or, or Mark have kind of helped with inquiries with regards to showers is because we love the product, we love the brand, um, and equally, we, we want you to as well because it's bloody good stuff. Um, but equally, just to reiterate, it's been a pleasure, guys. It really has. Um, and all I'd just like to say is, is thanks ever so much for all your support, for anything that you've done with me, with Myra, um, whether it comes to surveys, competitions, anything like this that I've asked you guys to get involved in. You've never let me down, so I really, really appreciate it. Um, wish you all the very best. Um, and who knows, our paths might cross in the future, whether it be through Gas App or through any other brands which are out there. But all the very best, and thanks ever so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Cheers.